Today we will be joining students from around the district in welcoming the Wall That Heals Congo. The Wall That Heals is a traveling exhibit that features a replica of the Vietnam War Memorial. This is an opportunity for all of us to pay our respects and honor those that made the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. I'd like to welcome and thank special guests from Boy Scouts of America Troops 101, 101G, and 104, and Girl Scouts of Kutztown Service Unit 727. I would also like to welcome Vietnam veterans Mayor Jim Schlegel and Mr. Tim Herrick. Please rise for our national anthem and pledge of allegiance. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the sacrifice. They all died as a result of their military service. Many years later, a monument was built in Washington, D.C. to honor the sacrifices of all the personnel who died in the service of their country during the war in Vietnam. It is known as the Vietnam Veterans Memorial, also as the Wall that Heals. Today you all will get the chance to to see the possession of the mobile wall that heals as it comes to be on display at the Kutztown Park from September 21st to the 24th. You will be part of the history of the traveling wall in Kutztown. I encourage all of you at some point in those four days to visit the wall and see the names of those who fell and read the displays and history of the wall and the war in Vietnam. Oh, as I mentioned before, it's been 55 years since I joined the U.S. Army for an adventure. My adventure still continues on as the mayor of Princeton. Have a great day. I hope to see you all along the way and at the parade and by the park. If you see a veteran anywhere, be sure to thank him for their service. 
Good day. The wall that healed is coming to Kutztown. It's part of my job to remind you that this event is not a celebration. If anything is to be celebrated, it's the climate change way the civilian community perceives veterans and members of the armed forces. This change started before you were born and is evident in the outpouring of support the committee has received from you. Starting here with you, your faculty and staff, extending to the borough council, to the residents of Kutztown, to the university, and to businesses and individuals across the county. Your support has been overwhelming and is greatly appreciated. But again, the wall is not a celebration. It will provide different opportunities for different people. For most citizens in your age group, it will be a time for learning and understanding. For others, it will be a time for remembrance and memorializing. For some, a time for forgiving and forgiveness. And for far too many, a time for grief. Starting this afternoon with the escort parade, through the closing ceremony on Sunday, these events should be attended with quiet dignity, with sobriety, and with respect. Only in this manner can the healing be achieved. Thank you.